How many times do we have to teach you this lesson, old man? Holy shit, man. He's back again. This shit never ends. Hey, everyone. Dan Lizer here. Today, we're talking... Ooh, this is interesting stuff to take a look at because I just woke up hoping to just maybe do a stream today, but yeah. So, EDP, an infamous name that all of you know. I mean, we obviously don't need to talk about him. We know what he did. Uh, but for the sake of having to explain the situation of what he's done recently, uh, I'm going to be referring to the awful things he's done as the Pokemon power thing, CP. All right, I'm not going to say the actual word because that is going to get me struck by God. Okay, so EDP, we all know him, Predator, Infamous, and he has tried to come back multiple times defending himself, saying that, oh, it was all acting and all that stuff. All right, we get the gist of him. Recently, apparently on his website, which... Actually, surprised me. I didn't know this man had a website. He apparently posted a video talking about uh the about Chris Tyson. Apparently, now uh this is a little gonna this is gonna cross a little bit into the uh Chris Tyson situation. As we all know, Chris, the sidekick of Mr. Beast, amazing guy, or whatever gender he is, but it, it's fine. Uh, he's obviously getting slack for uh, obviously going transgender or non-gender conforming. I'm assuming I, I believe is what it's called. I apologize if I get it wrong. And obviously, during this whole uh dish of downvoting him and you know making him feel like shit because he chose this he chose this uh people have been actually digging up old tweets obviously this is kind of like what twitter like twitter people do they look up old tweets and try to call him out for them and obviously he goes on to basically apologize for most of them and debunk every single tweet and obviously one of the tweets that he's being called out for is a tweet where basically he says and i quote okay i couldn't find it but uh i mean i'm pretty sure it's been going around so it's obviously a tweet where he's talking i'm not even gonna, I, I mean to be fair i don't even i don't think i should say it but anyways he's talking about something about a doorknob and about lollies so yeah but i was obviously a joke okay it's uh, it can be easily debunked all right because i be, i do believe that chris is not a freaking predator like that uh, that's outrageous to think of and plus this is probably this is obviously like an old tweet he's made so it's outlandish to think that he's oh all of a sudden oh he's a predator and uh, oh yeah he's a predator why because uh he's transgender but that's what EP is doing right now. He's apparently making a lot of claims. Like the first part of his video is talking about how Chris Tyson, obviously because of him going transgender and everything, is now a predator. And then he talks about stuff like he makes claims that apparently during the Kids Choice Awards, apparently he was caught uh, kissing his son. Like we're, we're talking like Tom Brady style kissing. Chris Tyson and Mr. Beast, they took a picture. I believe it's I believe it's the Nickelodeon Kids Choice Awards or some bullshit like that. Chris Tyson, he was seen kissing his son on the lips. My nigga, it's your son. Uh, I, that, me personally, that is some suspect ass freak fucking shit. Which is outlandish. So obviously, there, there there is no claim that he kisses his son. This is this is the dumbest claim that he's made. All right, because there's barely any evidence for it. And then next he goes on to say that. And then his next claim is that apparently him and some other guy named Chad or Conman. And um, Chris Tyson and Chad Man, Chad Man, excuse me, um, they're into Lollycon. And if you guys don't know what Lollycon is, Lollycon is basically... He could be referring to uh, Shad Man, which is uh, this Twitter account right here. I don't think it's this one. I'm just making the assumptions because apparently he, he he does even he doesn't know what he is. But I'm assuming it's this one because he couldn't know if that if the Z right there is that's how you pronounce the Z. Uh, he goes on to state that they were both apparently that they are both very supportive of Lollycon, which I am not gonna get into that. If anybody knows what the Lolly is, and I'm pretty sure you can guess what Lollycon is. And uh, those are like a few of what he's uh, claiming that Chris apparently has done. And uh, I'm just gonna get this out of the way. Obviously, these these have to these are obviously fake fake because one, I'm pretty sure Chris would obviously debunk these easily because obviously I don't even I myself I don't believe that this is true. All right, there's no evidence. It's like not enough evidence to prove that Chris is into this into lollies or anything of the sort. Okay, entirely false. There's just obviously him just picking on some shit that, I don't know, someone on Twitter probably said. And he's probably going along with it, hoping to gain traction. Obviously traction for what? Obviously so that he can try and like point the blame on someone else for being a predator. Because everybody knows that he was counted out as a predator before. And then he goes on to say that uh, the reason that Chris is doing all this weird shit is because now that's become transgender. He's like doing all this now. Which... That is really offensive to say in such a way. Something's fucking wrong with you, my nigga. 
You know what I mean? Obviously, something's wrong with you, my nigga, because you're fucking transgender and you decided to chop your fucking dick off, split that bitch down the middle like a polar sausage, my nigga, and make that motherfucker into a pussy. You're He's obviously going on saying that Chris is apparently, oh, because Chris is uh, transgender now. He's he's doing all this weird uh, pedo shit or whatever it's called. Or predator shit. Who cares? It doesn't matter. It's obviously straight up bullshit. And he's obviously doing this because he's trying to like point the blame at someone else. And I'm assuming he saw like he's been looking through all the Mr. Beast stuff. And he somehow came up with an idea to basically, oh, if I pin the blame on someone else and like join the crowd and point the blame on someone else for being a predator, then everyone's going to forget that I was a predator as well. And which, no, that's not how that kind of sh works. Obviously, whatever he's done is never going to get excused. It's, it's, it's so, it's so dumb that he's thinking that this is going to get him, like, I don't know, redemption on the internet or something like that. Because obviously it isn't. You know what I mean? And Mr. Beast, motherfucker, let me tell you something, bro. Nigga, by you hanging out with this nigga, Chris Tyson and Shad Man and all this shit, now I know... I'm not sure if Mr. Beast hangs out with Shadman, but you damn sure hang out with Chris Tyson, you feel me? Now, by you hanging out with Chris Tyson, my nigga, that's not a good fucking look, bro. And trust me, trust me when I tell you this, my nigga, I know you might think that you're fucking invincible now and you can't be touched. You got all these fucking endorsements and shit like that. Trust me, my nigga, that shit could be yanked away just the fuck like that. This is the part where I think... It gets a little on my nerves, not because of like uh, parasocial, not because it's like some parasocial or some shit like that, but it's because of the whole statement. He makes a statement that because Mr. Beast is like hanging out with, he's still hanging out with Chris Tyson, or he's still hanging out with Chris. Actually, I don't know why I'm keeping his full name. I'm so sorry. It, the statement that he's making that because because Mr. Beast is hanging out with Chris, that he's apparently supporting what Chris does and that he supports lolly shit or people being into lollies and stuff like that. Which this is my okay. This is my take on it. I, I don't like when people say, oh, because you're hanging out with this person, you're essentially supporting everything they're doing. I honestly think that that's the most dumbest uh, statement or fact to ever say. Maybe because, I don't know, maybe I just want to hang out with that person maybe because they're my friend, not because, oh, they're what they're into is kind of bad. I understand what I'm saying is, I understand that this that this statement I'm making can be put in, is, this doesn't apply to every situation, but I just hate that because, oh, you're just hanging out with some other person. Or whatever you're just uh seen with them most of the time you're supporting apparently what they're doing and that's the most dumbest thing to assume and the most dumbest thing to take fact about all right now let's uh move on uh, now obviously it's dumb in mr b sense because obviously i don't think that mr b supports lollies or whatever the hell edps assuming chris tyson and chad man's doing i don't know actually what chad man's into but i'm assuming he's also innocent as well and then the last part is obviously the most outlandish <laughs> dumbest thing possible he goes on to say that uh, i myself uh i'm i don't know what he said but i'm obviously not going to try and quote it because i don't know you could try and sue me or some shit i have a hard time getting my card when i'm watching motherfucking porn and bitches are 20 years old 19 20 years old i'm like fuck that man i man, i need a bitch that got some fucking wrinkles upon her fucking I'm into that motherfucking granny porn, my nigga. I'm into motherfucking milfs. I'm into cougars. You know what I mean? He's like, oh, I myself am not. I, I can't get into twenty year olds. And then he goes on to say, like, oh, I'm more into like the grandma kind of, uh, the grandma kind of porn of the internet. And that's like, and I honestly, when I when I heard him say that, I was honestly like, oh my god, this guy does not think this is really gonna work. I mean, obviously, I didn't. Buy, obviously, no one's gonna buy any of what he's saying there. But the last part is really the part where that really can get someone cracking up because, dude, it's been like, I don't know, it's been like almost two years since the situations happened. No one's gonna forget it, and they're probably not gonna forget it because you yourself keep showing up again trying to defend yourself. All right, you're just showing up over and over again just to be a constant reminder of why we should never forgive you for the things we do and even if you were gone for a long time we would still wouldn't forget it just stop honestly either like you need to stop either like for god's sake stop trying to prove your innocence and just leave the internet alone or just stop bringing up the freaking in the freaking incident in the first place we're obviously not going to forgive you either way because uh, it's kind of too late for that but just stop you're just you're just embarrassing yourself but yeah at the end of the day it is pretty disgusting to, it's terrible to see or i wouldn't say terrible it's freaking cowardish 
Oh my god, there is not a good way to put it. But you know what? It, it's it's entirely dumb and stupid that EDP is trying to uh, point Chris as a some kind of predator. He obviously doesn't de deserve any of the slack coming towards him. And it's just another case of someone trying to uh, jump on uh, Chris Tyson and basically make him seem like a more a terrible person. All because he decided to basically choose to become trans. But in EDP's case, it's just it's just more so him trying to make up an excuse that he can be redeemed and be let back into the gates of the popular internet people. But anyways, uh, that's all I'm going to talk about. And heck, maybe EDP will come back in like another three months and make some other outlandish claim. Maybe something about how... I don't know. Mr. Beast himself is a predator or some dumb shit like that. Alright, well, that's going to be the end of this. Uh, see ya.